We're sorry, you're uh, not allowed on the plane. You have the bird flu. H5 in one. Yeah, what'd you eat that pigeon for? That's probably That's, that's what happened. Peter, I, uh... Peter wanted pigeon pie and got <laughs> bird flu in his eye. Welcome to video four in the Itinerary England series. Today, we explore more of London. Look at, look, you can see my breath. I'm overheating. I need to be contained. The first thing we do is check out the British Museum, free to the public. It is the world's first national public museum. It has amassed a collection of 8 million items spanning 2 million years of human history. You can feast your eyes on ancient artifacts from Greece, Rome, Assyria, and Egypt. In fact, one of the most important acquisitions is the Rosetta Stone, which helped decipher the Egyptian language and hieroglyphic script. Fun fact, the main gate was once guarded by a cat named Mike. <coughs> Afterwards, we venture over to one of the most visited sites in the city, the Tower of London. It took 20 years to build and was England's largest and strongest castle. Throughout history, the tower served many purposes, such as a royal residence, a fortress, a prison for enemies of the state, and most notably, a place of execution. If you were of lower class, the most popular form of execution was death by hanging. Meanwhile, people of nobility or royalty were decapitated by sword or hatchet. And the sharper the instrument, the quicker the execution. Did you know that when a head is separated from its body, that it can retain consciousness for up to 10 seconds? Impress your friends with that bit of knowledge at your next cocktail party. The tower's royal beheadings are many, and the most famous belong to that of King Henry VIII's wives, Catherine Howard and Anne Boleyn. In fact, it is said that the headless spirit of Anne Boleyn haunts the tower to this day. One account tells the story of a guard that confronted and challenged a mysterious white figure. When the guard's challenge met no response, he plunged his bayonet into the apparition. The weapon did not meet flesh, and instead went straight through the woman. Realizing he had seen a ghost, the guard fainted. London is no stranger to the macabre. In fact, you can sign up for guided walks to explore the unexplained corners of the city. It's on the Apparitions, Ales, and Alleyways tour that you can peruse London's West End and learn about its famous haunts. If you're lucky, you may encounter a spirit in one of the many alleys and pubs you come across. The tour concludes at the Theatre Royal Haymarket, where the spirit of John Baldwin Buckstone a former theater playwright and director is said to haunt. He has been seen by a number of famous actors, including Dame Judi Dench and Sir Patrick Stewart. But if that's not spooky enough for you, venture to the east end of London so you can follow in the footsteps of none other than Jack the Ripper. The Jack the Ripper Haunts Tour is led by a world-renowned expert on this subject named Donald Rumbelow. I've written two books on this subject, so I should be able to answer any of your questions. You'll explore where the Ripper's victims were found, all of whom were East End prostitutes that had their throats slit and bodies disemboweled. That's it for this video. Join me next time as we take another day trip, this time exploring Oxford, Woodstock, Canterbury, and Dover. As always, if you like this video, Give it a thumbs up and even subscribe so you know when the next video is available. Until next time.